I'm just living the dream. Hello, welcome to Monts TV. My name is Jared Monts. Today I've got on the show John Thornton. John's a center midfielder for the Chicago Fire. He was born in South Africa, raised in Southern California. He's been a pro now for 12 seasons. He's been, uh, he broke a record signing with English Premier League giant Manchester United at age 17 as the youngest American to sign in, in uh, England. Um, he's been capped twice by the U.S. national team. Very excited to have him on the show today. So let's get started. All right, John. As a young player growing up in Southern California, did you imagine yourself signing for Man United at 17? You know, it was, it was always a dream of mine, and I don't think it was a very realistic one mm -hmm. that much of the time. And uh, my parents made sure I concentrated on that education in case this kind of pipe dream didn't come out. Uh, didn't come into path, but uh, yeah, I, I, I as a kid when I was out there practicing by myself, that was my vision. It was my dream, and it it, ha it was actually Man United that I dreamed about. They were my favorite team, and jealous. You're a great pro now, and I've had the opportunity to be teammates with you for for two years. So I've seen firsthand your your dedication to the game. Um, did you have that same attitude and dedication growing up? And what were you doing differently than all the other youth players in your area to get seen by Man United scouts? Um, I think I just loved playing. Yeah. Um, it certainly wasn't forced on me by my parents. Mm -hmm. They uh, ensured I had a very well-rounded childhood, and <laughs> education was a big part of that. Uh -huh. And but it certainly was that work ethic, and, and I loved doing it. And I put a lot of time in by myself. So, so at 17, you signed with United. You're in England. What is it? I mean, I'm getting goosebumps. What does it feel like to walk into the dressing room that first day? Did you bring a pen for autographs or anything? I mean, holy moly! No, I mean, in in growing up, I kind of imagined that I probably thought I would, but as it turned out, I went there on a trial basis. So the first day yeah. I went in, I, I still, had, you know, I'm kind of walking into a room full of mm -hmm. strangers my age, and then you see Beckham walk in and. Guys, you know, Peter Schmack, guys that I've, you know, grown up yeah. idolizing. And thankfully, you know, I was there for about a, a month. Uh -huh. um, and after about two weeks, we started negotiating and got the right offer. And with my family support, took better took than offer. your allowance, huh? Got yeah, right certainly. Offer. Jeez. Yeah. All right. So eight years in Europe. You, you're with you teams, pro teams over there. What do you see as the main difference between English foreign player, you know, European foreign players and American youth players? The I would say there. that, yeah, the biggest difference for me is the kids going into youth systems, say, at a Man United at, at these big teams. They're full time at 16. Yeah. Which I think, you know, MLS teams, um, and there are, you know, kind of super clubs now. Yeah. In America, they're trying to. Produce that sort of academy. Kind of that. Exactly yeah. right. Um, that's the biggest thing. But you know, these kids literally go from, you know, their training is their school. You know, yeah. sixteen year old in America, you yeah. go to school and then you play soccer Just there. Cultures you play soccer and then you go to school. All right, all right. So, you signed in Chicago in two thousand five, coming off kind of an injury plagued career in Europe. You know, up and down. Um, did things change for you when you got to Chicago? Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately not. Um, I would say my first two years here in Chicago, injury-wise, were some of my toughest. And yeah. took a while to get to the bottom of some of my issues. Had some chronic issues, blew out my knee. Had some really long-term. I mean, you were there. You saw how yeah. often um, I was out, and it was a heartbreaking time for me. And um, so, so 2007. You know, you just said a ton of injury problems. Mm -hmm. You left Chicago, 28 years old, pretty much went into semi-retirement because of injuries. Mm -hmm. Did you react positive or negative to that situation? And what did you do in your time off to handle these tough times? Um, you know, I've, what I've always said is, although I had so many of those low times, mm -hmm. what kept me going was that the highs outweighed the lows. Yeah. Um, you know, I kind of threw myself into some other things that I, um, you know, planning on going to business school. Yeah, business so school, there we go took the GMAT, um, threw myself into that, applied to some schools thinking I'm not going to be yeah. where I am today or in the event. So that it sounds like, you know, you did take a positive spin and you, you went forward with your life. And yeah, certainly. And I think, um, I'm a believer that things happen for a reason. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think we will face disappointment The your, as a, as an individual, your decision is how you react to those. Yeah. 
I think disappointments are a part of everyone's life. Yeah, of course. Of the course. thing you are in control of is is your response. Yeah. So, John, your story to me is very inspirational personally because you know I'm dealing with some of the same things you've been dealing with in the past. Uh, being injured and not playing, is, it's mentally hard for anyone at any level of sport. Um, I don't think Hollywood could have written your storyline the way you're living it right now. It's unbelievable. After two years dealing with injuries, you sat out all of last season, 2007. You then re-signed for the final third of the season with Chicago, the team that kind of let you go. Mm-hmm. Okay, You scored the winner against an LA Galaxy team that didn't pick you up when they had the chance to, and that goal put Chicago into the playoffs. And like, knocked them out of the playoffs. And, and knocked them out. I mean, mm-hmm. how good does that feel to score that kind of goal, cap off everything you've been through, and then what did you do on the field to celebrate? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, when you put it like that, it does sound... Um, like this great story and, and you know, and, and it was definitely a highlight of my career yeah. simply because it meant, you know, I, I taken the opportunity to say, you know, is soccer in my future? Is it the right thing for uh-huh. me to do? And, you know, scoring that goal and, and helping my team win, qualify for the playoffs, you know, kind of signaled to me, you know, this is where I'm meant to be. Yeah. This is kind of, it, it's not my past, but it, you know, hopefully yeah. it is in my past and will be part of my future. And I think that that goal and that game was, I mean, the That's thing awesome. that kind of. What got did you me do back. on the field to celebrate? Um, I just kind of went crazy. <laughs> um, it was you know such a tense environment because we we needed um, the point at least yeah. one point to go through, and that just kind of, you know, this the atmosphere was great. I remember walking out on the field that day and just feeling yeah, you know, such excitement in there and. Um, and there were still a lot of guys like you who were a part of my struggles that were on the field with me that day. They got yeah. to sharing that with me, and you know, it w- you know, potentially it was Chris Armis's last yeah. game. If we, yeah, and it was just a great yeah. moment for me and my brother and fiance were in the crowd. It was, it was great. So a lot of my viewers, John, are, are young players really trying to make it in this game in their life, whatever they want to do. And what advice do you have for these young players that want to take their game to the next level? I mean, I would just say keep working hard. You know, I think um, first of all, enjoy it. If if the second you stop enjoying it, um, I think you should yeah, walk definitely. away and find something else to do. And I think um, first of all, enjoy it and just and just work hard. And um, you know, a lot's possible now. There's some great opportunities for soccer players yeah. everywhere across the country now. And I think um, you know, kids should take advantage of that. Excellent. Well, great stuff, John. Thanks for coming on the thanks show today. I appreciate it. Uh, That wraps it up here for us at Mumps TV. I want to wish John all the best as him and Chicago try to try to make it to the through the playoffs and win an MLS Cup this year. Um, If you got a YouTube account, subscribe to my channel, say hello. Also, if you do, uh, if you want to check out my blog at JaredMumps.com, you could do so. Feel free to shoot me an email, post a comment, ask a question, I'll respond. Um, For those of you that do social networking, friend me up on Facebook. You can join my group, Jared Mumps Soccer. Also, uh, I'm trying to be cool these days on the Twitter pages, so you can follow me there if you'd like. Keep up to date on what's going on. And thanks for watching. Keep living the dream. Just living it. Living it. I'm just living the dream.